What's up, YouTube? What is up, YouTube? All right, so today we're talking about some stuff with Shop Heroes. What a surprise. Y'all love Shop Heroes. I keep doing Shop Heroes. Of course, let's go over the, the basics of the video. Smash the like button if you like it. Leave a comment if you like it. And also leave a comment if you have other questions about Shop Heroes so that I can answer them. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Boom, done. All right, now let's move on to the important stuff. Today we're going to talk about quests, the bosses, quest rewards, Quest, 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 lots of quest stuff. So first, I want to talk about how do you do a boss, okay? Actually, I'll first show you. When you complete an entire line of quests, you get a reward or a trophy. So someone asked me, how did I get this little face on the wall, catacomb trophy? The way I got that trophy is I completed the catacomb quest. So it says cleared there for me, right? Catacomb 5, cleared. That's how I got that trophy. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. When you do a certain amount of quests, like this says 14 out of 20 right here in front of us. When I get that to 20 out of 20, it shows me this right here, the fight deal. And so when I click that, instead of clicking add leader, you want to click fight zombie fisherman. You want to click fight the leader up here, okay? So when you click that and then add someone, so let's just add some people here. I'm going to add actually six people just because I can. I'll explain why I'm doing that actually. And now I send it, now see how the image is different? So like if I send them without that, just like that. Now I gotta send two people, well, there you go. See how it just has a skull here, but it has the image there. That means I'm doing a boss battle there. Once I finish that, this will say Dead River number two, and I'll continue on to the quest to finish 20, and then at number three I'll do 40, 80, and then 120, something like that. So. That is how you complete an entire quest line. You have to fight the boss each time it levels up to the max, and then you go on and do the next level. So, let's talk about the next thing. Well, let me get out of here. I'm gonna actually quickly, as quickly as I possibly can, invest a couple of these in here. And if you invest into the inn, okay, that, we'll talk about that really quick. See how it says seven minutes left? If you invest into the inn, not the town hall, but the inn, it reduces ongoing questing time by 50%, only to a certain point. So I can't get it lower than that. It's gonna take a little, another six minutes. But, so now we got quests. Let's talk about, we understand quests, we understand how to do the boss battle, we understand how to unlock the trophies. Now let's talk about something that's very important and that is what do I get from doing quests? So this is actually located in the Shop Heroes Google document that I linked to you guys like a week ago. We're gonna go ahead and transition over to that right now. This is a part of that document I left you guys in a video I did like last week about all the different online resources. So this tab, so if you go to the Shop Heroes database spreadsheet, there's gonna be a, a link in the description below. There's a bunch of tabs up here at the top. You wanna find the quests tab, and that's where this information is located. So the reason I sent six guys on that quest there is special loots. If you send six people, if the party size is six, I have a chance to get keys from that quest. So these are kind of the different chances you get. So if you want a chest, you have to send at least one guy, okay? But you have to, you know, you have to send one guy to get a quest going anyways. So that's how you have a chance to get chests. If you want to try and get to equipment, bags, double XP, etc., it shows you what size party you need to get that. So next, we can actually go through and we can see kind of the different rewards that each quest, like how much those are recommended power, uh, how much loot it'll give you, XP, how many bosses, etc, etc, how many you'll have to do. Um, so each one's a little different. So currently we just did the, uh, let me look over here really quick, even though Dead River. So Dead River, right here. Uh, the next one, so, so I'm doing the first one, which is 15. The next one will be 25, 45, 75, and 150. So this is kind of the breakdown of that quest. Um, also here at the top, it tells you the time, the required group power, and what chest and key type it gives you. So this is something else that you guys are probably gonna wanna know is which quests give what keys and which quests give what chests. This is all information that's located on this spreadsheet. So the first the first uh, four quests, I'm actually, well, I'll just explain it here. The first four quests are wooden keys. The second one, two, three, Four quests are leather. Five, six, seven, eight quests. The next four, so four, four, four. The first four, 
wood, the second four, leather, the third four, iron. I think the fourth four are golden. Correct. The fifth four are magic. The next five actually are magic. And then dwarvish are the last three. So that kind of helps you guys to know what chests you're going for, what keys you're going for. This spreadsheet is a super good resource. I talked about this previously. I'll talk about it again. This spreadsheet has everything. Like, I mean, personal quests. These are like the quests of people that come in to do quests. There's so much bulk orders, city raids, buildings. Everything you can imagine is in this spreadsheet. Um, it's a very valuable resource, so make sure you guys use it. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the uh, for the the quest discussion. Um, I kind of go back here to the game. That's pretty much how quests work. If you have any further questions about quests and kind of what they do and how they help you, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll go ahead and answer those questions. I do have an ongoing document that I have written down all of your guys' questions and so I am answering them to the best of my ability as quickly as possible. Understand that I have probably 20 or 30 questions to answer and so I may not get to yours right away but I am doing my best. I know a lot of you guys want to know how to get gems quicker. I know gems is like a big thing in this game. I'll tell you guys right now that gems and gold are interchangeable. They're both just as valuable. So everyone that thinks you just pay to win by buying gems is not true. You can definitely transfer. You can definitely change gold into gems and vice versa uh, pretty easily. So don't think that gems are the win all. They just help you buy higher level items, but you can definitely make the gold turn into that. So I'm working on a video for gems and when it happens, you guys will definitely see it. Um, I just want to make sure that when I explain it and that I break it down properly that it's understandable for you guys You know how I try to make everything as understandable as possible so that you guys don't you know make a mistake or don't understand it You know and have to ask more questions. I don't want to I don't want to make a video and you guys don't get an answer So that's what that's what that's the plan, you know, so anyways guys Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I know you guys kind of probably missed the face cam on YouTube I find that this game is better without a face cam because I'm not blocking the screen um, when I live stream, I have my face cam so you guys can see me there. I will do face cams on YouTube more just for this game. I think it, it works better without the face cam. Um, if you disagree, leave a comment. If you all want a face cam, leave a comment and I'll, I'll pull up the face cam. But, um, yeah. All right. I'm gonna let this video end out here and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow for another video. We're going to be live streaming today, tomorrow and Thursday. Hopefully that's the goal at least. So make sure you can stop by the stream, twitch.tv slash the random hero. All of my information is in the description below of every single video. So feel free to follow me on all the social medias and twitches and all that good stuff. Y'all have a great day. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. Oh yeah, baby.